And a good Sunday afternoon to everybody who might be listening, uh, either live, although at this moment we don't have anybody like that, or watching the replay at your convenience. Glad to have you with us for this more casual version of uh, what we do at uh, Lincoln Park United Methodist Church and Linwood United Methodist Church on Sunday morning. We're taking a look at a familiar idea here today, but I'm going to start out by asking you a question or uh, I, I guess more accurate to say sharing a quote with you. Uh, I'm, I don't even know who to give proper credit to for this, but it's something I heard long ago. And the quote is that any fool can count the seeds in an apple, but only God can count the apples in a seed. And that kind of goes along with our reading today. We are talking about the faith of a mustard seed. You saw that as you were coming in. And uh, we are going to be reading from, let's see here, Mark chapter 4. I've got to get to my control panel here. It's like running a starship here. Mark chapter 4, verses 26 through 34 which says, then Jesus said, this is what God's kingdom is like. It's as though someone scatters seed on the ground, then sleeps and awakes night and day. The seed sprouts and grows, but the farmer doesn't know how. The earth produces crops all by itself, first the stalk, then the head, then the full head of grain. Whenever the crop is ready, the farmer goes out to cut the grain because it's harvest time. He continued, what's a good image for God's kingdom? What parable can I use to explain it? Consider a mustard seed. When scattered on the ground, it's the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But when it's planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all vegetable plants. It produces such large branches that the birds in the sky are able to nest in its shade. With many such parables, he continued to give them the word as much as they were able to hear. He spoke to them only in parables, then explained everything to his disciples when he was alone with them. So we're going to take a look at what is implied in this idea here for us today. It reminds me when I was young, and that was a long time ago, but I can remember being in, I think, second grade. And as a class project or whatever, uh, I planted a little green bean in a little paper Dixie cup. I watered it, but otherwise I just watched it. And it was, it was an amazing thing. It seemed so quickly that this little seed sprouted a small green thing that then grew larger and ultimately produced leaves and a plant. I don't remember if we ever got any beans out of it. But just the miracle of that unfolding was amazing. And about the same time, uh, I became aware of the gardens that both of my grandfathers planted. They had large gardens, each of them, behind their houses. They hoed and they weeded. And over time, things came up. Corn, beans, and tomatoes, zucchini, lettuce, cabbage. Yeah, they put in a lot of work. The gardeners certainly helped the process along. But the gardeners can't make it happen. As anybody who gardens can tell you, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it. But although the farmer or the gardener is doing a lot of work, the farmer does not cause the seed to sprout. It's a mystery. And that's what Jesus was talking about when he said, as though someone scatters seed on the ground, then sleeps and awakes night and day, the seed sprouts and grows, but the farmer doesn't know how. We're part of the process, but we don't cause the process. It's inherent within the nature of a seed to produce this miracle. Now, it may be that when I said mustard seed and, and the title of the lesson, after all, is the faith of a mustard seed. That you thought of another familiar passage. Uh, this one is in Matthew chapter 17. And we'll take a look at verses 19 and 20. 
So that says, then the disciples came to Jesus in private and said, why couldn't we throw the demon out? Because you have little faith, he said. I assure you that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, go from here to there and it will go. There will be nothing you can't do. And there's a reason that I put that phrase in red and, and in bold face, uh, because I think that's probably the, the most familiar version of it. And in fact, several translations have it like that. Faith, the size of a mustard seed. Uh, folks who know me know I like to dig into the original language. And I did it with this verse. And one of the things that struck me is that when you look at the original Greek, there is no word in the original for size. I'm not criticizing the, uh, the translators, but this is what's called an interpolation, not an interpretation, interpolation, where they are putting in some English words to try to make sense of what was in the original for English readers. But that word size is not in there. There is a different uh, word. I guess you could say a lack of word in a way. The uh, English Standard Version has what seems to me to be a more accurate version, as do several other translations. And let's take a look at that one. It says, Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, If you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Do you see the difference there? In the original Greek, the phrase is literally faith as a mustard seed. And although this may seem picky, I think it's worthwhile getting that difference because it's the difference between quantity and quality. Now, remember in our main passage today, when Jesus is talking about the mustard seed, he's not talking about our faith. He is saying the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. And so if we put this other verse with it about faith, and we look at our own passage here and recognize that, yeah, there's faith involved here. But Jesus is not saying you should believe harder. You should work harder. He is saying if you have faith like a mustard seed. Now think about the kind of faith that a mustard seed has. We know of smaller seeds now, but at that time, the people hearing it in their area the mustard seed was the smallest of seeds, and it would produce a tree like what we saw at the beginning. Let's take a look at that again. I, I included this guy in the, the picture to make sure we could see the size of it. And if you haven't seen a mustard seed, think about a sesame seed, like on a sesame seed bun. It's about that size. That little bitty seed produces a bush, a tree, this big. And what the mustard seed does not do, it doesn't say to itself, I'm too small. I can't do anything. What does it mean to have the faith that a mustard seed has? The mustard seed just does the task that is set before it. And it leaves the harvest to God. That's the faith of a mustard seed. In fact, if we realize the way that if a mustard seed thought the way that a lot of us think, he would be thinking, I'm too small. No way I can produce something that big. I'm too small is faith in ourselves. It's trying to do it by our own effort. Now, remember that Jesus said in looking at our original passage, when it's planted, that is the mustard seed, it grows and becomes the largest of all vegetable plants. It produces such large branches that the birds in the sky are able to nest in its shade. Remember in this that the mustard seed isn't our individual faith. It's the kingdom of God. And so the question that we must ask ourselves today is whether we are as smart 
as a mustard seed. We have a part in it. The early part of Mark chapter 4 contains the familiar parable about the soils, the different soils. It's the same seed going on four different kinds of soil. So there's rocky soil and there's parched soil. And then there's fertile soil. Yeah, we have a part in it. We can make sure that we are open to the seed that God would plant within us. Are we as smart as a mustard seed to simply follow what God would have us to do? Not to take it on ourselves, not to put it on our own efforts, but to have the faith in God. In fact, let's wind up our thoughts today to ask, do we have faith in ourselves or do we have faith in God? Let's try to be at least as smart as a mustard seed. I would encourage you, if you are not already on our newsletter list, you see the crawl across the bottom there. And just in case it's cut off, then we'll share it right here in a banner also. Uh, would love to be able to be in contact with you and share thoughts like this and news about our community at Lincoln Park United Methodist Church and Linwood United Methodist Church. But in any case, I hope that the time that we've spent together today will help to make your week go better, uh, to provide you some spiritual food. And may you be blessed in your life. We'll see you next week.